everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video as you can see here the 6480 is out of the place it's been sitting for the last it's actually two years next weekend it's been sitting there we were off trying to get winter barley in robert was harrowing away with it all day long grand i was sewing and on the way home the injector pump fell off and what i mean now you can't really see um lee is after giving it all a wash we're ready to pull it into side now so he can start working out but the injector pump is there and she's bolted into the timing cover and then there's timing gears to keep it running and she pulled the treads out of the timing cover and she fell back the teeth didn't connect she lost drive so that is what is wrong that's why she hasn't run in two years it's a pretty big job depending on what way we're going to go about it we're not sure whether we try and retap the timing cover and do it that way, put a bracket on the back of the injector to try and stop it from coming back, or whether we go for a new timing cover on the tractor. We also have to do the crankshaft seal, because it's been leaking in a while. <coughs> so there's a good bit of work to get done to get her all straightened out, but we are finally getting round to it. The 6480 is getting done. It's just a matter now of getting it over to the workshop. I'm making a start, getting her all scrapped out and cleaned up and tidied up and back in action, back working again. At least this one isn't waiting five years to be done. And now she's in front of the workshop. For obvious reason she's not in the workshop because what's in the workshop is not the workshop yet but maybe one day it'll come out and it will actually be able to get things in but today is a good day anyway so Leah is going to be working on this today myself and father Phil are rolling barley and rolling grain so that's what we're at today so I'm gonna leave the camera down on time-lapse um, just to get an extra bit of footage there's also the battery leads are so it needs a new set of battery leads too but apart from that it's battery leads the injector pump front crankshaft seal and then see what other problems has arise from sitting for two years also <coughs> we need to do a good bit of work on the back of it because there's as you can see my uncle was quite hard on his tractor this was my uncle's tractor and then um, there's a lot of bits twisted we need all new pins drop arms all that like you can see where he was a great man for turning with the harrow in the ground and he wore wore the side plate off that there so there's a little bit of straightening out in the back end which hopefully we get done as well just leave it that little bit was well, one of the reasons why we never used this tractor that much was one it has given quite a bit of trouble electrical trouble and two the whole hitch mechanism on it would break your heart trying to put it on an office so that's why we never never used it that much but we'll get it all tidied up and straightened out now and um but yeah this is where the the problem is is in here if you want to give that another wash lead uh, there's the red power washer uh, there see if we can get the, the hot wash on her yeah i don't know is the the hot wash working now but you'll be able to try it anyways and this is where the fun begins now figuring out what's the best way getting this done just hopefully the threads aren't pulled there's supposed to be a plate on here ah you're supposed I think, to I think this came the, this problem is and then they put this plate on afterwards yeah uh, we, I, we've we talked to four or five people the same thing has happened yeah. to them I think these were what 04 when they came out 04 yeah 05 or 06 up all came with the bracket the axe the bracket here to here which stopped them wiggling the, the bolts out yeah that's the crack anyways I'm going to go back and leave Lee to it and leave this on time lapse so you get to see him running around really fast. But anyways, we keep going. just working away here or Lee's working away he's ready he's the water pump off and um, just to take off the injector pump properly is it's just 
not sure how to come out. Father Phil's not sure either. So, again, my cousin that does the digging to come up, he's also into the diesel mechanics. And they were just going to get him to take it off and just see what's the right way because they're just not sure and they don't want to end up dropping anything down or, or end up doing something wrong that just results in more work. That's where we're at now, but um, yeah, as you can see, still rattling. So, yeah, yeah, that's all. The cousin was up and himself and Lee are after taking off our injector pump. So, and what was wrong is the studs snapped. So Lee has new studs there. Or the, this is them here, isn't it? Yeah. So there's the new studs there to go in. So. It's straightforward enough. Well, it wasn't too bad. The one on this one here came out with my, just with a little bit, you know? Yeah. And then that's not how to put the insert into it. Aye. And then the bottom one's completely gone. I'm gonna have to not uh, helicoil that. They're not so bad. Been away there nicely. That's that's the injector pump. And then two new batteries and all to to get that sorted. So yeah, happy days. Yeah, here in the sticks, it's always DIY. Busting up your knuckles, buddy, go and give it one more. Will she start? Probably not. <laughs> It'll be third time knocking. Okay. What are you doing? Just pumping it? Pumping these up there. It's a half a to roll back on her, I would say. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> And we are back at the 6480. Lee has played an absolute blinder and he has the injector pump all sorted, all finished up on it. Um, just had to take out two butts and then retread the bottom. So we didn't have to change the timing cover. So 
worked out quite well. So now he's just working on the back end now. So as the lift arm's taken off, we have to send the pins that will be on for the drop arms to go down to catch that there. They are broke and seized. So we're going then brought off to an engineering firm to get punched out. And it's just new pins put all back together. He's, he's absolutely flying it here. So we should have her ready, ready for action now within the next day or so. So, so as you just, because I literally, we got one done and now we've just got the second one done. Just takes that extra two manpower to get them on seas. A long bar. And a long bar, because um, God only knows when they were to adjust the back. With the new pins and the new brackets up here, they're not long enough. So we have to adjust them right. So now we have them moving. We pour a bit of oil in and that'll just help free all that up. That'll just work its way down into it and hopefully loosen it all up. Take this in. That's actually the first thing I've done with the tractor, apart from pull it over here. Lee's done everything else. And my cousin pulled off the pump. You put it back on. I put it back on, yes. Yeah. Work in progress. Is there copper grease on these? What's that? Or a pot of it on it? Reset. Just wind them up first and then reset. Because yeah. normally, once you have them up, they'll never really move. And they're afraid enough for me to come out. Yeah. Make sure we sprayed them out by hand. Yeah. So, when it has me really seized so far. So, when we bought this tractor to put the plow on it, I never checked to see was the, any part of it not seized on the back and they busted the lift arms off. Right? Because the balls were seized on the pin. She didn't give, she just busted the, the lift arms and then they bought a set of lift arms that come off a burn tractor, right? And they just twisted. So now, second one going on. So this tractor is open center hydraulics uh, yeah closed center is fast yeah, and works open, load yeah, sensing yeah so this sensing. this is low open center hydraulics so she has a slower hydraulic system than other tractors and she can't run a fusion and um, well she can but it requires more horsepower if memory serves me right to run on an open center tractor it was a bit hard the tractor with the loader have an open center so usually you put closed center when you a loader but that's just we bought second hand but um so yeah that's why she's never been on the Fusion, she'll never be on the Fusion. But we get her back now for a load of work for loading barley on the out farm, save us having to move the telly for her around. Bloody mighty. Get to use this bucket I bought. Is she up full now? Yeah. So, <coughs> you know you want to jack the hitch. If I bring in the trolley jack ball thing on it, yeah, lift, jack the hitch. Lift, lift, lift the Probably hitch up like an inch, just yeah. that she's going open and then slip these on. Yeah. It should be close enough. Should be tight enough. Yeah, you just keep pulling it there. Yep. Yeah. Right, can I pull it again? I'm pulling it. Oh, well, that would help. Wow. <laughs> I know. It's a long that's been used. Right. Pull it up very gently. Oh, oh, oh. Right, that's you pull it now. Have you pulled? Yeah. Is that the latch pull now? Right, start up. Unlatch oh, our arms and I can move the buttons from back here. And now the 6480 is back in action. So Lee has played a blinder for us, so he has injector pump sorted, 
We didn't have to change time and cover, which is brilliant. Bracket on the back of it, which takes, which is the problem with them. So there's a bracket to be on the back of the pump, which takes the vibration out of it, which um, is part of the reason why they went. And it was on the later model of 6480, 05 and 06, that was on it. This is 04, which was the first of the 6480s to be made. So the whole back end now has all new drop arms. Everything is working there now, spot on. So all she needs now is a good valet. She's a bit dirty inside. <coughs> we do have a bit of a leak in the back window, which we're going to have to get sorted. And yeah, she's ready for a bit of work. There is two other jobs that will have to be done at a later time when we get the 1200 out. Crankshaft seal needs to be done in it. So that's an inside job because it has to be split. And also we have a set of springs to go in from Murphy's. What? We're not saying anything. What? We you can put in the, As yeah. in we. As in okay, so I won't do anything but the 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 he, he just showed up and was near we. finished. I would just think so. Well, that's what I always do. But see it's great to see you. I was able to tell you what to do and you were able to go off and do it. It's brilliant. <laughs> so anyways brilliant. These springs are to go in to replace the airbags in the cab. Um, the airbags have never really worked on it. So these are to go in, they literally just go in there. And probably the other way around. Huh? I am right though. Which way did it go in? Well, this is for this side, to go there. Yeah, we will do that. Yeah. No, there's well, no, there's not, you just turn it off. But, um, so yeah, that's what they're for, and then that takes gives us cab suspension and replaces the, the air because still but the airbags never hold there. But they had the head, not it. Why did we just put that in like a scrap bucket? Because that's where I picked it up from. Go back on the shelf. Put it on the shelf here. So, anyways, the tool is in the tool box. There's no winning with these suckers. There's no winning. But anyways, the 6480, she's running. She'll do some work. We do have a few more little, well, not little, but big jobs to do. But the main thing is she's going to be able to do some work and in particular loader work because that's what we needed her for. Loader, it's just a matter of putting it back on, greasing it, and she should be good to go. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video. 64 a he's back on the road. Big thanks to Lee for getting it all done. Tractor wouldn't be do going without him, so. Anyways, we're going to leave it at that for today's video. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That's it from us. Good luck.